Yeah, week 14 definitely took a turn. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. All right, I promised Jen that I would do one of these selfie videos alone. <laughs> I hate doing it, but here we are. It's way more fun with her. I guess I'm going for four miles. Her knee was hurting today, so she's taking the day off. I got my support group. We're going two miles per hour. I got the courage to go faster. You know, I didn't exactly feel perfect, but I never do. And I just wanted to get the miles in. Well, I had a good workout and did squats and stuff and that felt pretty solid. So just like, all right, well, let's get out there, get some miles in. I don't feel like I needed any recovery after either nine mile day. I'm just trying to get the miles in now. It's been raining for a few days and uh, it's been super muddy, so the trails are just destroyed. So I'm just trying to not twist an ankle. It's going at a nice, easy pace. But yeah, halfway through the run, I uh, have a little shoulder pain. Other than that, I feel perfect. So just getting after it. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> what are you doing? Like a knee. It's hard running on this stuff. Ooh, you're sweaty. Oh, he's got it in my mouth. No more? No. <laughs> I found him. Not that I was really looking too hard, but I kind of was. It'd be hard to lose me. <laughs> There's really only one road. But he's doing excellent. He says he can conquer the world. I didn't say that. Bryce is an overachiever, but he didn't motivate me to try. He's going to do what? Three miles? He's going to do four. Four? Wow. And I've done not even one, but he's doing it. Awesome. Hi bye. Yeah, I'm at three. Nice. All right. We collectively decided for me to stay back because I fell again. Why wow, are you doing so good? I'm just going to go back and ice ibuprofen it up and hopefully my knee will start to feel a little less agitated. I'm going to try to tape it and hopefully the tape stays on this time. But I'm just happy that Bryce is finding a rhythm and feeling really good. I feel like this is how training goes usually. You either feel bad in the beginning and feel good at the end or you feel good in the beginning and feel bad at the end. <sighs> Yay, Bryce! Yay Bryce! Way to finish your solo run! Go on all the way through. Easy, super easy. Nice. Could do it every day. All right, welcome to week 14. It's a little different this week. <laughs> but kind of the same. <laughs> but kind of the same. Yeah, week 14 definitely took a turn. It's not a very successful week with movement, but maybe a successful week with rest. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to have a wind down week a little bit. We didn't plan for it to take most of our days off and go down this route of double injury. <laughs> but yeah. uh, here we are, and we're just trying to go with the flow and try not to lose track of our, our progress and our goal. Yeah, so when we say double injury, I should have listened to week 13, Jen, because going back through the video, obviously I said a lot, my knee hurts, my knee hurts, my knee hurts. I just have like weird knee pain. My knee was sensitive. My knee is slightly tender. 
I thought my knee gave me a surprise pain this week, but in reality, it was a festering injury that I just didn't take care of. Mm -hmm. Last week, I just kept kind of pushing through, which in my defense, it did go in and out. Mm -hmm. I just should have maybe been ahead of the game and gave myself rest instead of just thinking it was fine and then pushing it. So I haven't really ran in six days. I did try Monday and ran a mile and that was just a disaster. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday, my knee, I could barely even bend my knee. I couldn't even like squat down on my knee. I was limping really bad. Yeah, that's scary. And then I found out it was more of my IT band just really getting super agitated. And luckily I took a lot of ibuprofen and I iced it a lot. I foam rolled it, and I stretched it, and I tried to do some walking, but then I found I didn't need to move at all because it just was making it worse. <sighs> yeah, luckily, you couldn't run because... Yeah, um, I'm sure that there's... <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but yeah, I was doing yoga, got stung by a bee um, on Monday, and I, you know, I ran through, finished my workout, and uh, after dropping some F-bombs and scaring people, so then I'm like, okay, it's just, you know, it's not a big deal. I haven't been stung in a lot of years, but I wasn't too worried. It just burned and, and stuff for a few hours. And then I woke up the next morning and my foot had ballooned. So it was- Oh my God, it was so big. Super gross. <laughs> you couldn't even put your shoe on. I couldn't put a shoe on and I couldn't put a sandal on. It didn't fit over my balloon foot. So yeah. I was kind of like gimping around, but yeah, just a, the odd coincidence this week. Now I think I'm basically in a spot where I can run again. Um, yeah. My inflammation on my foot has went down a lot in the last day, um, but I think I'm gonna give it another day or two. The bees are ruthless out here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. back on your- <laughs> so, uh, Hopefully we're gonna try a run tomorrow. It's not gonna be 18 miles how it was supposed to be. I mean, unless you're feeling really good. I know I'm not gonna feel up for it, but I wanna test it out. So I'm probably gonna just run and walk. And I reached out to my friend Morgan and she just advised to stretch um, maybe every two miles or something, just giving the hip a break because she did say that IT band issues can fester when it's uneven ground and your hips are unbalanced. Yeah, I guess it's just you have these weeks and you gotta roll with it and just be mindful of your body and listen to it and not push it and, um, and I guess respect it because it's what's actually getting you to your destination. Well, and also like playing it in a strategic way yeah. for longevity like yeah. we don't want to run this one race and then you're so injured you have to take a year off we'd like to yeah you could go take that training and pretty much turn it into another race and another race anyways well if you've had any injuries let us know what your story is to make us feel better <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, thanks for tuning in to uh, week 14, and uh, yeah, we'll see you... See, tomorrow? See you tomorrow, question mark. Question mark? Otherwise, next week. Bye! Look at that little stinger go. Happy Saturday. We did make it out for, I guess if you want to call this a run. Yeah. Uh, I call it building back up my confidence run because I just feel like I got like hit by a bus. My knee is okay. It's not like in super pain, but I can tell if like I were to do any jarring movements or anything that it could go south. So I'm just trying to really focus on my gait, but it's also not making me feel very relaxed. So I'm like tensing up in other areas. Yeah, yeah. I think my left leg is kind of tense, trying to be really cautious. And then my right leg is taking a lot of beating because it's imbalanced. And then it's making my right calf super tight. Sure. And then my diaphragm on my right side is like really tight. So it's causing a lot of sharp pain. Yeah, I suppose if you're just really tight on one side. Yeah. Your brain is so powerful that it can just like manipulate things. So I'm just trying to get things back in order tell my mind and my body like this movement's okay <sighs> so I'm just <laughs> I'm, we'll get through it I'm just pushing 
through this feeling. So, how are you feeling? Just going at a real easy pace. My bee sting swelling is gone. So, that feels good. And after our workout, I mean, I, I kind of feel, I guess, tired and heavy from it just because uh, I did a lot of hips and squats and single leg lunges and stuff. That always makes me feel, I don't know, just kind of lethargic, like dead weight yeah. while running. But I think it's good to run through that too. Yeah. Um, especially for a short run, it's just not that big a deal. I am just going nice and easy, casual pace. So it's definitely a switch up from our previous weeks, but this happens and we're just gonna navigate it and make this week easy so our other weeks are easier <laughs> and less painful. <laughs> hobble, hobble, hobble. <sighs> All right, we're done. Four and a half. Mm -hmm. It was humbling. <laughs> I can tell I haven't ran in a few days. It, it definitely yeah. felt challenging. I just felt really out of sync. I had to keep reminding myself, like, okay, breathe like this. Okay, move your body like this. There's a lot of cues and reminders for myself. That's how I feel like kind of all the time when I run. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's really hard. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get in that full state. <laughs> but you're getting there. Yeah, before the beast stuff. <laughs> Just gotta get back into it. But yeah, we might try it tomorrow. See how it feels. And yeah. Yeah. So I guess I... week 14 is not done. Yeah. Okay, are you done with this conversation? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm having fun. Yeah, I like the Nintendo Wii. That's a good product. I liked Wii Sports, and uh, that was it. All right, wrapping it up. Someone's stalking us. <laughs> Someone's stalking us. Holy crap. 213, what does it mean? What does it mean? We have a mystery on our hands. Someone that knows we use this palm tree for our phone tripod wrote Jen's favorite number on it. What does it mean? We're being stalked? Are we being watched? Well, we did it. Well, we didn't. Kind of. Okay. We so... got the nine and a half. <laughs> Which is close enough, so that means this weekend we did a total of 14 miles. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good for not thinking we were going to do anything. Yeah, I'll take it. This week has been really humbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just shows that um, we still got a long ways to go. I mean, you know, it's um, our 30 mile we were talking about today, our 30 mile run is coming up. It's hard to believe, but it might be well, in like five yeah, weeks. Yeah, five weeks. <laughs> so yeah. for me, that's right around the corner, uh, and we've only went... 18 16 in a day so that is gonna be intense well we're gonna build up to it so it'll happen i don't know my mantra today was i'm grateful for every step forward because this week i just didn't know if i was gonna even be able to run today so yeah i'm actually really happy you can run yeah. you were so nervous it was the was... only thing that jen was talking about for days yeah well it just <laughs> felt like an injury that was not good. It wasn't like a tightness or a soreness where you could just work through it. It was like a different pain where it made me nervous. Mm -hmm. And for my other injuries I've had and knowing sometimes how long that can take for them to recover is just the unknown is very anxiety ridden. I'm grateful for every run we can do because two years ago I wouldn't have been able to do that at all. Yeah, for sure. Me too. So. Just trying to be positive. That's good, I like it. You're also trying to be really salty. I am salty towards you. <laughs> Your face is so salty. <laughs> this is Jen's face being very salty. You can see it. <laughs> That's super creepy. How's the run for you? It was a struggle. Yeah, not the single hardest run I've done by any means. I needed some more motivation in there, like music wise, that definitely helped. Um, but then we did a bunch of walking and I don't know if my walking is just kind of off right now from my hips or something but like then i started to kind of cramp up in my calf and my especially my hamstring and i don't know if it's because i was doing a bunch of hamstring stretches and trying to work through that this morning or what that really got super tight and made me kind of scared at the end there so we just kind of ended about a half mile early and walked it in and just yeah. gonna drink a bunch of water today and try to get a bunch of electrolytes in and try to uh prepare for the next run i guess we're just practicing listening to our body mm -hmm which is, I think, really important and really hard to do because yeah. a lot of people just want to ignore it and push through it. That a lot of people is us, so. Yeah, like I know for race day, <laughs> I kind of ran through the sort of cramp I had today, but since we're not doing race day and what's a half mile at the end of the day, yeah. um, let's just get it done and come and stretch and feel better and try to recover. Oh my God, we're gonna be on week 15. Wow. Feels like we just started. Yeah, Here we I, are. I feel like every week we just start. That's yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. And now we're like uh, over three months in. Wow. Wow. But hopefully week 15 goes better. <laughs> I have no idea again what is on the menu for week 15. I would like to do maybe a longer mile if our bodies are feeling up to it. I like it. We'll switch it up. Yeah. So we'll see you week 15. All right. See you later. Bye.